I want to talk about songwriting. And actually, I want to talk to you about the journey of a particular song that you wrote. The song is Human Nature. Where did that come from? I'll tell you exactly where that came from. I love you. Uh, I was, Toto was in the studio mixing our fourth album. Which um, was called? Total Four. Okay. Creatively enough. Anyway, I was uh, I wanted to stop by and uh, uh, visit my daughter, who was uh, around four or five years old at the time. She had had been had gotten home from school. I was um, I wanted to stop by and say hello to her at her mom's house before I went to the studio, and met the guys. And my daughter Heather was very upset. She had had a real rough day at school. She had fallen off the slide, and a boy came up and hit her. And she was asked me why the boy came up and hit her. Trying to figure out how to explain to a five-year-old that, you know, he probably liked her in some way or just wanted to get her attention. And anyway, just the, just the title Human Nature, kind of the thought of human nature came, trying to explain human nature to a kid, you know, when she says why, you know. And uh, I went to the studio. The guys were, at, that night, they were in the booth mixing the song Africa. And um, I went out to the studio where the piano was and one sitting. Wow. And then John Bettis came and rewrote the verse lyrics. I see. But the chorus and the chorus lyrics and all that and the, pretty much the structure of the song came out. The first chords I wrote were... In March 28, 2011, this song got sampled into a song called She Ain't You by Chris Brown as a dedication to Michael Jackson. The song was also sampled in the 1993 song Right Here, Human Nature by the R&B girl group SWV, which was from the soundtrack to the 1993 blockbuster film Free Willy, which also had Michael Jackson's song Will You Be There. get to Michael Jackson? Uh, I had been working on the Thriller album already. Um, I'm doing synthesizer work on the album. So I'd already been, was in the studio working with Michael and Quincy. He'd been asking David Page, the other keyboard player in Toto, for songs. David was known as a great songwriter, and he'd been asking him for a, a certain kind of song he was looking for on the album. And he would send an assistant over every day to pick up whatever grooves David was working on. And uh, I had just written Human Nature and just finished the demo, and I had, I had made a cassette, just a stereo mix with a cassette. Um, David called down to me one day. I was living at his house at the time, and he said, uh, Quincy's assistant's coming over to pick up those two grooves I was working on last night. Make a cassette for me, would you? And um, I said, sure. And I went down, and sure enough, we were completely out of cassettes. So I took that cassette that I just made of my song, Human Nature, and I changed the labels. I fast-forwarded it, and I recorded David's stuff on the A-side so that it, was, it would look like it was, um, it was the first thing you would hear when you put in the cassette. My song was on the other side and, uh, of the tape, and I never thought Quincy would ever hear it. You know? So um, the story goes, according to Quincy, that he listened to David's two things, and he just happened to let the cassette player roll keep going and he was doing other things in his office and in the old days they used to have this thing called auto reverse so when the cassette got to the end it would start playing the other side and that's when he heard human nature another happy accident and yes. a fabulous use of technology because <laughs> if it wasn't for that technology tell me about it <laughs> that wouldn't have happened. auto reverse auto reverse yeah. that's incredible yeah wow story. wow <laughs> And they do it that way And they say why And why 
I does it away that way, they say. But tell them that is human nature. <laughs> does it away that way, if you see why. But, but, ooh, tell them. Does it away that way, they say. Human Nature was released on July 3, 1983, as the album's fifth single. It was written by Steve Porcaro and John Bettis and produced by Quincy Jones. Although not released in the UK, the song achieved chart success in the USA, reaching number two on Billboard's Hot Adult Contemporary Chart and number seven on the Hot 100, the song became Jackson's fifth top ten hit from Thriller. Because I just can't stop